good morning dear students welcome back so now in this video i am going to start with pauli matrices i will try to explain the details of pauli matrices including pauli gate okay let us see you know the this name you have heard of this name pauli pauli's exclusion principle anta kelithira ni upyose nalle he says no two electrons can have all the four quantum numbers same so he want to introduce the spin concept okay see the spinning of electron uh, please see the physics part of this uh, spinning of electron will be having an axis called either up spin state or down spin state okay either clockwise spinning or anti clockwise spinning this spinning direction means axis of spin will change when the electron is kept in the external magnetic field or if you apply magnetic field to a substance the spin state will change it will turn like this keeps on turning this is what i want actually i want to manipulate the spin state with the help of some some mechanism some operation some field yavado ond reetinalli a spin state anna nanu change maadidare then i can store information i can retrieve information this is the basic thing even in our binary digits that like is 0 and 1 we are doing same thing we are passing current we are controlling the current we are not allowing the current like that so accordingly we perform the operations so even here also if you can change the spin state of the electron with some support here in this case it is magnetic field support we can do some operations so pauli in order to explain the variation in the spin state due to external magnetic field he introduced three matrices which are now called as pauli's matrix here we are not going in detail about pauli's work yake yav tara what is the effect of magnetic field uh, how the spin state changes how the matrix uh, the what pauli introduced are going to help are going to solve the problem that is a high Higher level physics and higher level mathematics. But one thing you must know: Pauli matrices are introduced in order to explain the magnetic field effect on the spinning of the electron. For your level, this much is sufficient because you know what is magnetic field, you know what is spinning of electron, and you know what happens when magnetic field applied to electron. You all know when magnetic field applied to electron, its direction of motion changes. Similarly, spinning also changes. Spinning speed may change. Spinning axis may. orient in some other direction ಈ ತರ ಏನೇನೋ ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳು ಆಗ್ತವೆ ಆ ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳನ್ನು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಪೌಲಿ ಈ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನು ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಸೋ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ 3 ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಸಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೋ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ಕನ್ನಡ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಐ ಹಾವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೇಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ slow learners and those who are not so familiar with uh, english i am using here and there kannada but that doesn't mean that those people don't know anything about english they all know but what happens you know sometimes when i talk in our mother tongue the flow will be very easy and it will be very you know easy to understand adikoskara nanu here and there i will be using some kannada uh, sentences you know kelu ond kade use martini adinda kelu hudugurge benefit agutte anta nan ankondidini okay yakane nan kannada dalli pu ಹುಡುಗರಿಗೆ ಟೀಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬನ್ನಿ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೈ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೌಲಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪೌಲಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆನ್ ಐ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ವೈ ಐ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವೈ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಝೆಡ್ ಐ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಆಫ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೂ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಟು ಟೂ ರೋಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಕಾಲಮ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ರೋಸ್ ಟು ರೋ ಒನ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಟೂ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕಾಲಮ್ ಸೊ ಜೀರೋ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜೀರೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ಐ ಐ ಜೀರೋ ಒನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜೀರೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ನೋ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೌಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಸಿಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೌಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಸಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಟೂ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಯುಟೆ it is uh, it's a hermitian only that means whether you know how to write hermitian now by now you already so much familiar about how to write the hermitian hermitian bariyod hage first you take the complex conjugate and then transpose it is going to give you hermitian okay here whether we write the hermitian of x or y or z you get back the same matrix that's what i said they are hermitian they are 
the Hermitian is itself. Uh, that matrix itself is Hermitian. That means X is nothing but X dagger. Clear? Let us try. Similarly, Y is equal to Y dagger, Z is equal to Z dagger. Let me try only for X. How to find X dagger? Well, X dagger is nothing but row should become column. Column should become row. 0, 1 is now 0, 1. 0, 1 becomes 0, 1. 1, 0 becomes 1, 0 like this. So, you are simply transpose your return. What about the complex conjugate? Dear students, there is no complex number. Therefore, I am not writing the complex conjugate. See, if there is no complex conjugate, if there is no complex number in the given matrix, then transpose itself is going to give you Hermitian Astene. Keep it in mind. Now, the x dagger 0, 1, 1, 0. x is 0, 1, 1, 0. That means x dagger is equal to x. This is what I said. The Hermitian and the matrix both are same. Let me try with complex number. Well, one more, one more example. Uh, that means y is equal to y dagger. Let us check this. Y dagger I am going to write. How do you write Y dagger? First you have to change the complex number symbol. Okay, 0 minus I becomes 0 plus I. So this row becomes 0 plus I. I turn it. I turn it. That means 0 I it becomes. So first I wrote 0 minus I. One step I am skipping just to save the time and space. But you know, I am sure you are able to follow that skipped step. That I am explaining, you know. 0 and minus I the other. 0 plus i mari because you are writing the complex conjugate okay 0 plus i then you change the row into column that means you write a transpose then 0 minus i becomes 0 plus i okay na next coming to next row i now becomes minus i minus i and 0 so this row you change into column i and 0 becomes minus i and 0 minus i and 0 now i am writing in the column for um, right so this is the transpose come complex conjugate which is nothing but dagger now look at this 0 minus i i 0 look at y 0 minus i i 0 that is what i have written here y y dagger is equal to sorry y and y dagger both are same so hermitian of Pauli matrix is nothing but the same matrix x is equal to x dagger y is equal to y dagger z is equal to z dagger this is the first property second property i would like to mention now Coming to the second property, now you take y and y dagger or x and x dagger z and z dagger product okay take x and x dagger right it is going to be i what is i identity what is this property if that is if this is the case what x will be if Hermitian of the vector, or sorry, if Hermitian of a matrix is multiplied with the same, then what it is, is going to be? This is going to be unitary matrix. I already told in one of my previous videos. That means X is a unitary matrix. Similarly, I can write Y, Y dagger is equal to I, Z, Z dagger is also equal to I. That means when X is multiplied with uh, its Hermitian, it is going to give you final answer as 1, that is unitary matrix. Similarly, Y when it is multiplied by its Hermitian, you get answer as 1. Similarly, Z multiplied by Z Hermitian, you get the Yes, what? Unitary matrix 1. Okay, let us try only x, x dagger. Please, later on you can try y, y dagger, z, z dagger also. Okay, y, y dagger, sorry, x, x dagger. x is 0, 1, 1, 0. Correct? Huh? Then x dagger, it is here. It is also 0, 1, 1, 0. Actually, x and x dagger, okay, I will come to that later on. Well, let me, let me finish off this. That is equal to 0 into 0, 0. 0 plus 1 into 1 1 right first element next 0 into 1 0 1 into 0 plus 0 second element next 1 into 0 0 plus 0 into 1 0 next 1 into 1 1 plus 0 into 0 0 please follow carefully this is what i told you need the knowledge of matrix and determinants and of course you had already studied these things in puc and i hope you are not able, not finding any difficulty in these simplifications i don't think too much of explanation is needed for all these operations okay finally what it will happen 0 plus 1 is 1 0 0 1 dear students what 
what this is sir it is nothing but identity matrix sir correct that's what i told you when x x dagger is multiplied you get i dagger sorry i that is unit uh, you know identity matrix okay i was telling something nodi x and x dagger illa agle helidini x and x dagger both are same therefore i can write this as x into x is equal to i that is x square is equal to i that means square of the poly matrix is always identity matrix always is equal to 1 clear so whether you take square or you go for unitary property both are same only because of this so hermitian of poly matrix is same as that matrix and when you multiply hermitian with that matrix you get unitary matrix sorry you get what is called identity operator that is i so therefore poly matrix are hermitian poly matrix are unitary okay i go i hope you got it now let us uh, see what will happen if i operate these poly matrix on our zero state and one state dear students finally we how to come down to that zero and one only we cannot get away from that zero and one suppose if i take poly matrix and operate on our zero ket state and zero one ket state what will be the result that we have to discuss well with this slowly i am moving towards what is called logic gates actually they are called cubic uh, you know quantum gates in classical computers we call them as logic gates here we call them as quantum gates slowly we are moving into gates domain under a so far we were talking about the mathematics and physics part slowly we are getting into designing part means how to of course gates are nothing but part of your processes microprocessors so slowly we are entering into process part designing part electronics part okay so poly matrix ad mele next borodene gates actually gates alli poly matrix once again i am going to repeat well let us see what happens if x operates on zero ket x operates on one ket similarly y and z first i take x operating on zero ket x operates on ket zero what is the result first question well x means 0 1 1 0 1 ket zero is our old friend now it is 1 0 that is equal to what actually i should write this as square bracket only well 0 Into one zero plus one into zero zero right next one into one one plus zero into zero zero. Dear students, please check this. Zero plus zero zero one plus one one. What is this, sir? It is nothing but ket one. That means when x operates on ket zero, it gives you ket one. That means the zeroth state is now flipped to one state. Okay. So when Pauli matrix x operates on ket zero, it gives you ket one. Okay. Let us see what will happen if it operates on ket one. That means x on ket one. What is the answer? Yes. by now you already guessed your guess is correct it is going to give you ket 0 just we will verify it's a matter of 1 minute 0 1 1 0 that is our x state and 0 1 is our ket 1 state straight away i write 0 into 0 0 plus 1 into 1 1 so first number is 1 1 into 0 0 plus 0 into 1 0 so finally it is 0 look at this it is nothing but ket Zero. Well, when x operates on one, it is going to give you ket zero, right? Like that, alpha converts into beta, beta converts into alpha. What is this alpha beta? It is nothing but uh, in between state, superposition state. I told you know in while explaining block sphere, while explaining block sphere, our vector can be anywhere from zero to one state, anywhere. From north pole to south pole. Okay, if it is along the north pole, it is ket zero, ket zero. Along the south pole, it is ket one. In between, it will be psi. Psi is nothing but what? Psi is nothing but alpha into ket zero plus beta into ket one. 
So it is a sort of small revision in fact. Well, let us see what happens. And this psi can be written as alpha, beta in column vector form. Okay. 0, 1, 1, 0 operating on alpha, beta. That is going to be 0 into alpha, 0 plus 1 into beta, beta. So first number is 0 plus beta. Second number 1 into alpha, alpha plus 0 so it is alpha plus 0 so finally it is going to be beta alpha that is what this and this means 0th state flips into 1 1 flips into 0 so <coughs> alpha into beta beta into alpha okay now I summarize this summarize this it is going to be this way well input and then output if input is ket 0, output is ket 1. Input is ket 0, output is ket 1. If input is ket 1, output is ket 0. Correct? If input is alpha ket 0 plus beta ket 1, output will be alpha ket 1 plus beta ket 0. What this is dear students? Sir, it is nothing but truth table. Yes, you are correct. It is a truth table for which gate? X gate. X operator, X poly matrix. So, symbolically, I represent like this input, output. Input, if it is alpha into ket 0 plus beta into ket 1, output will be alpha into ket 1 plus beta into ket 0. Got it? Well, this is about poly matrix and properties of poly matrix and then one operation, X operation. Let us see what will happen if I do the same thing for Y and Z. Okay, X will change 0 to 1, 1 to 0. Therefore, it is called flip-flop circuit. It will flip the state. Whether it is going to happen even in case of Y and Z, please try. Till my next video, you can take it as an assignment. What all you have to do? Wherever I have X, you write Y. That means 0 minus I, I 0. Wherever you have 0, 1, 0. Wherever you have ket 1, you have 1. Uh, 0, 1. And same thing. This part you have to replace by Y and this part you have to replace by Z and uh, see what will happen. Okay. Uh, those things anyway I will revise. Afterwards I take up what is called qubit gates. In qubit gates there are again two types. Gates for single qubit, gates for multi qubits. So first I take up with, uh, start with uh, single qubit gates and then to multi qubit gates. I think in another two to three videos I will wind up the syllabus. Well, in my study material I made one mistake. I tell you what is that mistake. Inner product of u I have given it as x1 square plus x2 square plus plus x3 square. Actually, it is not so. It is x1, y1, sorry, x1, x2, sorry, plus y1, y2. If there is one more number, it is x3, y3. See, it is the dot product of same vector that is x1 i kya plus y1 j kya dot product of again x1 uh, x1, uh, yes, sorry, sorry, x1 square, sorry, x1 square and y1 square, sorry, it is not x1, x2, it is only x1 square and uh, y1 square, actually I have written it as x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square, actually it is x1 square plus y1 square, okay, x1 i kya plus y1 j kya, see x1 into x1, x1 square plus y1 into y1, y1 square, please incorporate this correction, in the notes I have given it as uh, x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square, Angala x1 square plus y1 square ashtene. Atwa inno on the element it to andre z1 square agate. Anyway, for two dimensional vector, it is n of x1 square plus y1 square. And if you take the square root of that, that is going to be root of x1 square plus y1 square. Well, this is a small correction for my previous video. Well, I stop here. I come back to you with many more details on quantum computation. I hope you are enjoying this. Please share your comments and also share this link with your friends. Discuss with your friends let them also get the benefit if you feel happy share with your friends if you are not happy share your comments with me i hope you are able to follow my statements thank you thank you very much